We're here in the Barking and Dagenham campaign office. We've just been out canvassing and meeting the people up there at Barking Market and at the Barking Tube Station. And that's been great. People have been uh, really responding. People like um, uh, Curly and Kevin, the storeholders in Barking Market, who really have become enthused about our immigration policy. Those uh, like Alex, who are really enthused by, about the, the fact that the churches are standing up at long last to get involved in the political scene. So that's been really good. And uh, we really met a, a lot of people today. We even met um, Frank Maloney, who's standing for UKIP, and we had a good chat, and Frank's a good guy, and we wish him well. Sad bit, though, today was when we went over, or actually were called over to Castle Green, the Castle Green Centre, uh, where Margaret Hodge was holding a meeting. We were called over by the uh, guys from the Workers of England Union, who are out there with their campaign truck, supporting our campaign, and we're very grateful for that. They've got a wonderful leaflet, it's right here, with my uh, picture on it, and a biog, a wonderful thing that they've done for us. And uh, some of the Labour guys were actually abusing them, calling them BMP, and so they asked us to come over so that we could explain to the press, uh, Channel 4, a journalist from the New Statesman magazine and others, that actually they're supporting the Christian party and they're supporting us, not because they're Christian, but they know that we are the best solution. Our message of reconciliation, our message of hope, our message of community cohesion, based on love and not on hate, based on faith and not on fear, is just what Barkin needs. And that's why they've been supporting us. Yet, they were vilified today in a fashion that was shameful. And when we got there, the vilification started, the angry exchanges, uh, people swearing at me. I'd never in 13 years of electioneering seen such a thing. And for it to come from supporters of the governing party really, really is disturbing. Because this shows us what is happening on the ground, what is actually feeding the Labour movement. Uh, it's a movement of hate, I've come to understand. The, a hate and vilification. But we need to pray for the Labour Party. They're worried in Barking, they're going around telling, I believe the truth, that they cannot win without the Christian vote. They simply cannot win this seat. But they've extrapolated from this, they've actually um, jumped to a conclusion from this that if they cannot win, the BNP must be able to win in their stead. Well, this is simply not the case. The Christian Party's bandwagon has begun to roll. The momentum is building up. And you're going to see over the, past, over the next few weeks that momentum build and build and build and build. So it's not a question of Labour lose, BMP, BMP win, it's Labour lose, the Christian party win. So you need to go and tell your friends, you need to remind everybody that we're going to be embarking on May the 5th and 6th, pulling out the vote, we're going to be there, uh, getting everybody to come and put their cross by the cross and win this seat on May the 6th. We give God the glory for that and we're going to fight every street, every door, knock on and give the message of hope, reconciliation for Barking and Dagenham. And in that message is the prosperity for the future of this borough that we will see by the grace of God.